Hey, everybody, it's your old pal Jazz McKay, the deplorable patriot. And lately, these videos of dancing nurses and medical staff have been popping up on social media sites like uh, TikTok. That's been happening for several weeks. And they're not only in bad taste, but they're also a slap in the face. I'll explain right after this. Before we go any further, please subscribe to my channel and like and share this video. Also, visit my Facebook page at The Deplorable Patriot. I'll leave a link in the comments below. Hey, you know me. I, I, I tell it uh, the way I see it, and I really don't give a damn whose feelings I hurt or whose toes I step on. And I just want to say that these dancing nurses uh, and medical staff videos that are popping up on social media, in particular this, uh, this TikTok uh, website, are, are more than just a diversion in bad taste. They're a slap in the face. They're a slap in the face of everyone who is suffering in a hospital ICU. A slap in the face of everyone who's uh, uh, being kept from seeing their loved ones because of some idiotic freaking lockdown. A slap in the face of anybody who's out of work because the government has somehow decided that they would mandate small businesses into oblivion or businesses who had to fold up operations as a result of other businesses being closed. We're talking about tens of millions of people worldwide for a freaking year now. We have been told that you've got to stay home. We're told that you, you can't leave your house. Don't go to work. Don't go out to eat. Don't go to the bar. Don't do this. Don't do that. Stop everything that you're doing in shelter in place. We're told that if you break the rules, you're, you're selfish. And if you don't wear a mask, you're a murderer. You're trying to kill grandma. And all of this so that we can support a beleaguered and overworked health care system. We're told that we have to flatten the curve because the hospitals are overwhelmed with COVID patients and, and frontline workers in these hospitals are working overtime triple shifts, working their fingers to the bone without any sleep, without any breaks of any kind for hours upon hours on and days upon days upon days. However, it would seem that these poor, beleaguered nurses and doctors apparently have been able to find the time to rehearse dance routines, to film and edit these routines, and post them on social media. Oh, Jazz, you sound like you're awfully pissed off. Well, I am pissed off, and you should be pissed off too. In fact, if you're not pissed off, you're not paying attention. Wait, what's that? Oh, you you haven't heard about any of this? You haven't heard about the dancing TikTok nurses? You haven't heard about the latest phenomenon? Watch this. What in the hell was that? Well, I'll tell you what that was. That 
was a slap in your face. While the rest of us are suffering under the thumb of the premier technocrats in this country, like Anthony Fauci and uh, Gavin Newsom or Andrew Cuomo and Bill Gates, these newly sainted frontline workers who can do no wrong are dancing into the hearts of American sheeple everywhere, too blind to see what's really going on and just too stupid to know any better. And to add insight, Insult to injury, this TikTok website is from communist China, just like the virus. Frivolous TikTok videos like these expose the lie that COVID-19 is somehow such a serious crisis that it's worth throwing millions of people out of work and inflicting trillions of dollars in economic damage on everyone, as well as trampling on your freedoms and your liberties. This should piss you off. And if you're not pissed off, you're not fucking paying attention. I'm Jazz McKay, the deplorable patriot. God bless America and death to the new world order. I'll see you. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure and like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Share to your social media. And leave nasty comments below. God bless America and death to the new world order.